Hello. I've just been in uh, a home leisure and garden place called The Range because I'm looking for um, something I saw years ago years and years and years ago and it's uh, one of these shopping bags that fit into the boot I think they come in free so they can snuggle nicely in, in the boot and I think what these shopping bags do is they you can they're transferable so you can so you can did I say it was uh, 10 to 12 10 to 12 yeah they're transferable which means you can bung them in a shopping trolley and what with that scan and go thing um, it's just no lifting involved anymore and it's just basically car to trolley do the shop and then back to the boot again and then boot to flat that's the only heavy lifting involved will be from the boot to the flat and I'm think well, I've started thinking about this because I mentioned a few vlogs back that I think it was in the last dash cam in fact that I noticed that a can of beans was poking out of the bag at the bottom of the bag like there's a hole um, there's a hole getting bigger or will be getting bigger so for now I've put in a, a smaller bag into the bigger bag just so that it covers it covers the uh, hole now I saw this in a shopping centre so I've asked in Tesco's and I've asked in Asda's and since Tesco's is up the road somebody there said try the range so I have and I was full of uh, expectations but uh, I've been downstairs and upstairs downstairs is where the car section is upstairs is where there are storage boxes and bags but uh, I couldn't find it and uh, I had to ask and somebody said if they had it it would be downstairs and I've been up and down the aisles and uh, the fact that they didn't know they had it was good enough for me really right so now I'm gonna carry on with the drive head to Tesco get some essentials chili con carnies baked beans and what have you
That was a nice start to the day. Always good to get out, get some footage, do some editing. It's nice. Now, <laughs> yesterday, I don't know where to start. Yesterday, there's this morning's. Thing on the computers, computer screens. Uh, there's, there's um, a new video editor, newish. Right. The last video, I think it was Rob Seven One Four Monday's video. Oh dear. <laughs> now, if I vlogged yesterday, the title would have been The Longest Day. Oh dear me. Because I didn't want to use shortcut to edit. And I wanted it I wanted to use an open source. And I've mentioned Kindle Live in previous vlogs because it's it's what I call the bells and whistles one of the open source lot lot. And I can feel a jaw draw I can feel a draft coming through here. Not too bad though. Although I did get a stiff shoulder yesterday. Anyway. I can always get when I go jogging. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm going to go off topic in a minute. I have got off topic. I'm trying to get back on topic. So, what happened yesterday? Well, in a nutshell, yesterday was devoted to Caden Live video editor version 20041. And I've tried it before. I've, I've may have done a couple of videos using Caden Live. Um, I yes, I said I didn't want to. I didn't fancy using a, a shortcut. Um, excuse me. Shortcut is able to do the edit but it, there's no there's no fun behind it well is that what i was trying to say where uh, there's no bells and whistles and i like i like gimmicks and bells and whistles and uh Caden live is the nearest thing to the professional the big boys i said i shouldn't play with the big boys but this is open source so yesterday I thought, take your time, you're going to hit barriers, and I did, but just enjoy it, you've got the internet, you've got YouTube tutorials to bail you out, and I did a quick refresher on it, so I managed to get started. Um, <laughs> yes, so I didn't edit it like I normally edit, which means I do everything from left to right, you know, I start with the text, the clip, the music, and just, when I get to the end, it's all done, but because I was, I didn't want to tackle the text <laughs> situation, and maybe the music but mainly the text i just put all the clips on the timeline sort of trimmed it added it onto the timeline sorted out the volume and when i reached the end i then went did all the titles which weren't bad um i there were a couple of silly obstacles where when you're looking at a clip and you want to use a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut to 
bang it onto the timeline but it didn't work it kept on saying going to the monitor to give you permission so you can use the edit effect no wait a minute no that's a that, that's a separate that was another obstacle that sorry the message well I, the message was um, you can't insert onto the timeline uh, just it turns out there's a button you toggle on and off so you can actually stop things like that happening <laughs> and of course uh, I just scratch my head for oh well, well not to worry I just drag it it's a it's a good editor um, can't remember what the problems was with it last time mind you it took me all day to do it the other problem I had there were two noticeable problems and one was trying to find you've added an effect you just find an effect any effect transform effect so you want to uh, when you do close-ups you see you use the you know, this, this is a trade this is a trade secret this but amongst editors and people like me when you uh, you can use a standard medium shot uh, clip like this but you can either you can actually you know scale out zoom in scaling scale scale in zoom in whatever you like so it looks like it's a close-up you see so there's an effect called transform which I wanted to do that because there was a I sort of froze I got I corpsed you know so I thought oh no let's um and I don't like it when these these fashionable editors they like to look at their uh, voice wavelength and they can tell if there's a flat line they can cut at the beginning cut it at the end and take out that section so that's why they're always jumping about like this because it looks like they're talking fluently and in fact they're doing cut they're cutting out the faces so one bit like that next bit like that and thing like that and I thought hey, they all do it and I don't like doing it like that so I thought well surely why not just instead of a jump cut let the jump cut be a close-up for effect you know anyway so this effect I dragged it onto the clip and I didn't know how to look at the property of it so I can stretch it out you know and I thought there's a clip properties option but it wouldn't show me the properties the the fields I just stumbled on it in the end um, it turned out to be a, an effect shack I googled it I couldn't find it I just couldn't find it it was mad it's the trouble with open source sometimes is that there is a community but they assume you're all on the same page and I thought Oof. so when I did find it towards the end of the edit and I looked at the I looked at the properties <laughs> there was all these uh, same effect I used the same effect two or three times you know and I thought well I'm not going to mess with it because I did find I somehow found a way around it and uh, Well, I did, there was a there was a backdoor way to this particular scaling zoom effect, and it's a case of oh dear, there was an options button somewhere on the project monitor, and it it showed you the the outline where you can actually click the corners and reshape the you can zoom in zoom out. But of course, if I wanted to do it finesse, use numbers instead of a graphic or interface, 
I couldn't because I couldn't find the properties. And then when I did find it, I found that I had all these two, the same effect twice. <laughs> but so it feels like this that really took ages. I don't know how many clips was there. A good number of clips, about 20, I think. And of course, I by doing it this way, sort of like I said, you know, everything at the beginning from left to right, it meant I had to go back again, add the music, add the text, and then watch the whole thing again um, in the editor, which I've never done before. And I've, I mean, professionals do that anyway, they have to, you know, it's going out there to the public, to the paying public. So yesterday was just, and I thought that was, and I just felt good about it. I thought people have been slagging, and I mentioned this as well, people have been slagging off Caden Life saying, I'm not using it anymore, it's complete rubbish, or words to that effect, a bit stronger. And moving on to Shortcut, and even, yeah, even nowadays, you know, somebody was struggling. I think struggling with, yeah, somebody actually came off Caden Life to use Shotcut or, yeah, Shotcut. Even, it was quite about three weeks ago, in fact, the video was I was watching. And, uh, um, this happens, I freeze, I don't know why. Uh, I've lost it. Sorry about this, so it will come back to me. I just need to concentrate. We have to do a Jedi mind trick. Right, the person who came off Caden Live in this video said it kept on crashing. Uh, he would do something line up a clip, line another clip on top, add in a, a, a graphic somewhere in the middle, having in, in all this business, and then it would say, watch this, and we'd watch the screen, and it would, in your, before our very eyes, it would close the app down. Not just once, not twice, but continuously. And you couldn't take it anymore. Well, this, well, this person, and I are quite similar in, in age and we're both technically minded but that's where the similarity ends because this guy is he can build computers and he's big into Linux, uh, Unix you know the open source operating systems that rival Windows and quite rightly so anyway Go trail off again quickly. Come on, get back in the zone. So, uh, but I'm thinking, yeah, he's technical on that side. I wonder if he does a. I haven't said that. He should probably do this. But I'm thinking, a lot of people complain about things crashing all the time. There's bugs in this, bugs in shortcut, and I don't get these bugs. And I think it's because people don't clear out their computers. So all this stuff building up that are useless, useless files that are quite heavy. If they were to do a sync, if they were to do a disk cleaning up, it would run into gigs. I mean, the other day, I mean, especially when it comes to operating system updates, that happened to me recently, and uh, it pulled up a 23, 24 gig. Uh, total waste useless files that could be just deleted and I reckon if people did that then it wouldn't crash as much so did I why did I don't know what I bells and whistles I think that's why a shortcut is just if you want to have fun you know you want to you know maybe you want to use an effect maybe you want to mask something out and head into the VFX Territory, you know, I can't use hit film anymore because 
it won't accept all the footage it only likes the sound and some files not the visual which is a, a bit cheeky if you ask me but I thought I just thought Caden Live there's a there's a community out there who like Caden Live and even people especially you get a lot and this is a, a major factor too a lot of youtubers do who do have these tech channels they compare video editors especially free ones and uh, free freeware and freemium you know ones that are completely free and ones that are free to a certain point but if, if you want to do major stuff you have to pay f to get the paid version and these people do comparisons and they don't give it's very rare that I see someone give a negative um, response to Caden Live very rare um, in fact, some people say, people, some of these tech people, they say, um, I use Caden Live to do these videos. So I thought, Caden Live's got all these functionalities. It's, it's, it's the only one of the open source ones that are a real challenge to the, VF, the VFX editors. So I decided to give it a go, and I thought I, whatever happens, I'm gonna stick with it. So I installed it, I ran it, and I think because I had it before, there are some system files that recognize settings that I made to it last time, and that didn't help me much. That was a big mistake and it didn't have default displays so I instead of starting from scratch I had to actually build it you know build the look of the editor and that means just putting in an effects panel here a um, project monitor here and a clip monitor here and that's another thing that appealed to me I was thinking of this lately of all the open source editors, Caden Live is the only one that has a clip monitor and a project monitor. So you can look at the end of what you've edited, and then you can also look at a brand new clip to see how it will follow on. And I thought that was brilliant. I mean, there are problems, it, it uses the same platform or environment as shortcut so when it comes to rewinding it's very it's like one frame at a time and it doesn't play any sound going back where if it's shortcut it can so I'm still looking in I'm sure there's a way around it but I haven't found that I haven't found a solution to that not that it's a problem so um anyway i installed it i went straight into it uh, it was a bit daunting at first but once i set it all up in fact i had a preset one i set from last time so uh, I, I stayed with it uh changed the themes around it was white it was a white screen a white software so i wanted to make it darker so the eyes don't it's easy on the eye and I just stuck with it. I used it. Clip monitor, project monitor. Um, it was very hard to use to, to use the clip monitor. You have to go all the way through it. You, you do it in and out points. You can't just click somewhere else to put an output. You have to go through the whole lot. Or go to the end and then work back. 
which I had to do it so it wasn't really helpful but then I thought to myself well I can always drag it as it is onto the timeline and there there I can you know I can navigate much easier but I was determined to stick with my my philosophy so yes there was just all day doing that and it was, going, it was getting later and later and later in fact I went to bed about five o'clock I was going to leave it and then carry on this morning then I thought I was stubborn I just just carried on and yeah five o'clock this morning I couldn't I could hear the birds singing and it was you know four o'clock and I could see the daylight through the blinds so I've only had a three, three hours sleep today <laughs> I said that as if it's sad oh, I only had three hours sleep today but it seemed like a lot of hours decided not to put the uh, radio on just have it quiet and it was good it's good but I ate a lot of mature cheese and uh, I'm eating about two for six slices of extra mature cheddar and of course my my dreams are, are becoming really vivid and detailed and sort of possible you know <laughs> These situations could happen. So, uh, because of the dreams, you, you get carried off, you didn't sleep then. So, yeah, all day, all day was spent. Well, it, I liked it, you know, it's, um, you're playing with, it's like a new toy, and you're sticking with it, you're, you're you're being patient. You feel well. Oh no, this. Oh no, that. And I think you well, carry on, carry on. And I was pleased at the end, even though there was a few problems like the uh, <laughs> properties. So that was yesterday. And if I'd vlog, I couldn't. There's no way I could have vlogged and edit at the same time. Otherwise. Um, otherwise I'd be still editing I'd be still vlogging <laughs> um, I said enough now but that's yesterday which leads me on to this morning and what you saw earlier on the computer screens now I the funny thing is where do I begin? Well, I have to go back again. When I did the export, it was twenty. It's a twenty-five minute clip, and I used. I wanted to do the get the quality right, the the export settings right, so I trolled the forms and made up a custom one. Tested a bit of it, looked good. Then I went like went did the whole lot. Oh, this is going to take four hours and it says one hour 40 it's going to take so i was shocked and at the end it was a two gig file which again i was shocked. it's normally in the sevens so i was amazed but i hadn't done a i hadn't done a thumbnail and unfortunately, Kid in Life can't do 3D text. <laughs> so, I don't even know what time. What time did it go live? Probably seven ish. I no idea. It, I can't even tell you. It must have been in the early hours. It must have been around five o'clock. My question seems more recent than that. 
So I went to bed around five ish, and I think I must have done the. Of course, yeah. Although it took one hour forty to uh, export, I was watching Only Fools and Horses. In fact, I fell asleep through one episode because I was just bushed. And of course, the export finished hours ago. So whilst I'm uploading, I thought I might as well do the thumbnail. So I did, but I couldn't do the 3D text, you know, the subtitle, 1919. Um, so I thought, well, there must be some, there are online image editors out there. But I'm looking for ones that did text. Now, on, on Windows, it's, there are some installed image editors, photo editors, graphic editors. There's three or four apps, and none of them could do 3D text. But this one website did. I can't get it to look like Chrome, you know, the Chrome 3D effect. I haven't figured that out yet. I tried to use whites and greys, but it, that was the best I could come up with. I don't have GIMP installed. Which is like photo editor. So, no. so yeah, I found one online. You just plonk in the text. Yes, you plonk in the text. You type in the text. You choose a font. Um, and then you save it as a PNG file, which means as a transparent background. And you drag that in. Then with the editor apps, uh, the image editing apps I already have, I managed to bring in the thumbnail that I could do as much art with on Caden Live, which is the title and the image. And I brought in this PNG file, put it where I should, and then I could pull the corners apart so I can get it across and up and down and even better than before. So, yep, did all that, and of course went to bed at 5 o'clock. And I, I, what, when I was watching, before the upload, I always check the MP4 file, and it looked good, but it also looked it was very bright in places and very loud, and I thought I had, it, I had the music down really low. So it won't drown me when I'm talking, but it seemed to have done that. So uh, what I'm going to do now is, I'm not going to use the custom YouTube anymore. Because this morning, I opened up Caden Live, and I decided to use the, the preset export. Uh, for just the beginning, just a... Uh, a test just a few minutes and it was just as good so I'm going to use that so this morning got up and uh, well I watched I didn't watch the video of my breakfast I haven't had breakfast yet I'm gonna have it now shortly um, So I watched the video because I know it didn't look, it looked a bit too red, too white, too loud. I thought, well, I'll watch it in red. And I did. And on the whole, I was happy with it. But I noticed that when I'm doing the text, and although you can fade in and fade out it was fading from black which it shouldn't that's what I was showing this morning showing how it's fading into black and then fading into white <laughs> because the letters are in white 
So it's fading from black. And of course you saw on the website, I did a quick search. How am I supposed to do text fadings? And of course the forum said, do not use the fading effects, which is what I used. I had a feeling it was opacity, but I just wanted to be sure, you know. So I know next time when I do the edit today, I will use opacities and opacity setting. I think there's about three effects which has the opacity effect or the, uh, the opacity property or method. Right, so I thought that's it. So my curiosity was satisfied. I had nothing for breakfast, so I had to jump out and uh, go for a drive. Yeah, I feel like there's something else I should say, but there isn't. Um, the Ridley Scott documentary from Sky Arts from the director series is is out so uh, I might watch that over breakfast and I might watch my video again on the big screen over breakfast vlog 714 I think So yeah, I feel good. After watching those two shows, I'm going to come back here and uh, edit 715. I think this one we are watching now is probably 716. You're watching Friday's video. Uh, oh my gosh, the one I'm going to edit today will be the one between Monday and today. What was that? Was that Wednesday? Oh yeah, that's the day. But it's, up, it's already up because it precedes what you're watching now. And that was a funny one. That's, that was a good video. That was a good idea of mine. It's only out out there, uh, but I didn't use it. Didn't use the laptop yesterday. I was well, I'm preoccupied. Well, I've said enough for now. I'm going to. Uh, I've only got a plate, a long plate, a coffee cup, a bread knife, and a teaspoon to wash. Excuse me. And then I'm going to uh, make make the baked beans on toast with cheddar in between. And and uh, put on the local radio and listen to the the current music, the music of the day. I'm rambling on now. When I said I only had three hours sleep earlier, I wasn't kidding. Just 
had a nap. I don't know how long. Wow. Well, I had been on toast, watching my video again, and then I, I was, I didn't, I was beginning to fall asleep through that, funny enough, well not funny really, <laughs> it is a cure for insomnia in my videos, but uh, yeah, towards the end I was, there were some moments where I did break, I had to open my eyes and So I did. I couldn't watch. Rid, I couldn't watch Ridley Scott. I'm gonna regret doing this. Yes, I need to quickly. So I'll go straight to TV. Oh no. HDMI one. Good. I thought. Well, I can't watch Ridley Scott if I'm. Like that, so I thought I'll have a nap, a power nap, and well, I was uh, zombified. Then I woke up at four, and then went back to sleep again. And now it's half past six. Thinking I've got to snap out of it. I can't snooze all day, even though. I was depraved of 40 winks, plus I didn't, uh, it's been a habit now drinking on, on air, so uh, yeah I just got up and it's amazing how good you feel just standing up for a few seconds and then you feel rejuvenated even though when you've woken up from sleep you haven't you don't feel rejuvenated yet. So here I am back at the laptop. I'm about to close this door because there's a reflection on the screen there. I'm about to open Caden Live, the video editor, and work on. I may have to transfer some files first. So I may have to, I may be watching Ridley Scott after all. Yeah. Once the files are transferred then I'll uh, I will be kicking off Caden Live. Right, I'm just looking at the file transfer situation and I don't have to do one desperately because these files are actually today's footage is, is. therefore I'm not going to watch Ridley Scott I'm going to go straight into Caden Life Well, looking at these uh, footages for today, um, I just sorted it into date, date and time, and I can see I, I've been out for about four hours, you know, four hours, or three and a half, three. Was reasonable three hours. Yeah, there's a gap of four hours between the between two files. Yeah. 
Wow. I must go to bed on time tonight. There's nothing else for it. Earlier, I may have left an unanswered question about Caden alive and crashing. Because I was saying, you know, people slag it off because it crashes and all that. The question is, now that I've installed Caden alive, has it crashed on me? It did, yes. And like that other fellow, it crashed a lot. Um... It's just happened to me now, which reminded me. And it crashed on him because it happened at the start of whatever he was doing on Caden Live. With me, similarly, I'm trying to set up the project, which I've just done. Uh, just clicked File New and then did the bits and pieces, you know, resolutions and cache paths. Clicked OK and then it, it closed on me. And then this happened yesterday as well. In fact, it kept on happening and happening. And then it settled. So it's probably prone to bugs. I should report back to the forums on it. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's because I've just <laughs> re relocated the cache folder. So of going to somewhere deep in the annals of the operating system. And because it's cache, which means it's just backup files, I uh, rerouted it to where the project is. Because when I'm done with the project, I'm going to delete the project, i.e. the folder it's in, and along with the cache. And by doing that rerouting of location, it may have triggered something, but I don't know. So it's crashed once. I'm expecting to crash a couple of more times until I find... Um, maybe I need to do a save and then... Yeah. But yeah, it has been crashing on me as well. But, but, as I said, after the few, the first three times it settled. And I've just checked the, um, the disk clean up, incidentally, to see if there was anything bulky in there, but there isn't. There's only 60 meg of waste. So I'm a bit puzzled by that. Um, I'm just going to clear out what's in the percent, 10% folder. It doesn't look much either, mostly kilobytes. But there's some shortcut debris here. Look at the optimization and it says needs optimization. So maybe that's why. It's one in one now. All right, it's all done. Let's try again. Lovely evening. <laughs> Out there it is. Well, it's an hour later, and I'm still trying to create the project. It keeps on crashing on me. Um, it may be because I, I like to tinker with things, and uh, I may have again the cash folder. Well, whatever I do now, it's um, crashing. 
The only clue I've got now is that I noticed when I create the project, it's okay. When I bring in the clips, it's okay. But if I start to do anything like uh, make a start on the edit then it closes so the clue I have now is that just above where the files are there's a there's this number of jobs that are running in the background so what I've done now is, is I've got up and come over here to take a, a weed break while it uh, goes through the jobs I just, it was 33 at the last count <clears throat> it's gone up to 34 when I got up to come over I'm, I could have sworn it was ticking down quite rapidly in fact so once the jobs are finished then I might be able to uh, start but I'm thinking if how many times have I crashed then in the last hour well I've had at least two restarts um, and about half a dozen attempts at creating projects so if I don't have a choice if I can't seem to move on I've got no choice but to uh, either install shortcut or Da Vinci it's one of those two and it looks like Da Vinci because my, my mind's a frame set I'm thinking HTML my mindset at the moment is bells and whistles so it looks like I'm heading towards Da Vinci about a quarter to eight in the evening in the UK to do a download from the v, from Black Magic Designs repository, uh, means a very slow download, about twenty minute wait, because the traffic at this time of day in the UK is pretty uh, pretty busy, to say the least. I will now check on the job front. Wow, sorry about the uh, hesitation because I was down to five jobs, then it went down to four, three, two, one, now it's finished. Right, so uh, here goes for the umpteenth and final time. Of this problem yesterday and this is the sort of problems I was telling you about earlier that happened to others okay it's gone through the jobs but now it comes up with this thing saying loading 
clips. I've had that before today, in the last hour, and it stops at 48% and doesn't move. So I know it's. I'll give it time because that's one thing I haven't done is given it time. But you, you sense that it's not going to move from 48% within a half a minute. You know there's something up. And I've not had this before today, before today. <laughs> so it looks like, it looks like I'll be uninstalling Caden Live. I'm going to download DaVinci Resolve. It's going to take how long is it going to take but in the meantime I mean while it's downloading not in the meantime now while it's downloading while I'm waiting I'm going to watch Ridley Scott or uh, the episode of Only Fools and Horses that I fell asleep to last night the agony and the ecstasy of choice. It only took a couple of minutes to download at 8 p.m. in the UK. Well, how about that? Oh, it's a Friday. And even though we're in lockdown, it looks like people may not be on their computers. I don't know. All I know is it didn't take half an hour to download. It took a few minutes. So that's good. Of course it's good and this is a uh, radio 4 extra I should have a nice big logo but it doesn't right extract all Having a refill while it installs. That's all for now, I think. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it's nearly two hours since. Yeah, we're coming to nearly two hours now since making an, an active attempt at. Edit. So, I can't do Vinci Resolve. It's been a good day anyway. Uh, uh, well, it's been a lively day. Been out for a drive. It's quite warm. It always seems to get warm in the evenings. The window open. And the blinds open so there's no rattling it's still very warm must be in the 20s well late teens today has been about 18 19 i think it's been lovely it's a lovely evening the sun is setting you can still see the sun on some buildings yeah, so I've been for a dash cam, been to the range with high expectations, uh, been shopping, stocked up. I even took the trash out. That's a good feeling. Uh, 
what else? I had beans on toast, bruschetta, and Nescafe. So I can't complain. Uh, what really Scott to look forward to? I know when I watch this back, I'm gonna hear, me, hear myself, see myself, hear myself, spot myself, saying Wally Scott, not Ridley Scott. I've done that before. Not with Ridley Scott, but that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice day and uh, looking forward to using Caden Line. And then as it kept crashing, my love for it just evaporated. And now I'm looking forward very much to use Da Vinci until I remember why I installed it. Anyway, looks like it's installed. I'm going to shut down the computer. Uh, I'm one minute 21 into the video. Um, now it's been okay. It's gone really well. The titles were. In fact, I've used a template. What I mean is. I've opened the last vlog on the DaVinci Resolve, swapped out all the footage, changed all the titles so far, and yeah, that's what I mean by template. Oops. So, uh, taken a while, I don't know why, I think I came to this what time, quarter to nine, and it's now quarter past eleven. <laughs> What's that, hour and a half, about hour and a half I think, 8.45, Nine forty-five, ten forty-five. Oh, two and a half hours. But in that time, I think I was installing software. No excuses. No, I've I've been pacing myself. I've been just taking it easy. Enjoying the bells and whistles and the ease of using DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, I thought well it's quarter past eleven. I'm gonna go into the early hours like last night. So I'm gonna call it a day and pick up in the morning. So that's what I'm about to do. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, there was a gimmick in this one as well. Basically, I'm, I'm talking away and uh, the battery on my recording device died. <laughs> so I had put in a little uh, off-air gimmick. And of course I had to go trawling through the internet for that and Finding a website which downloads YouTube videos and all that, you know, and then of course you don't want to play the whole 30 second clip, so I had to narrow it down, edit it down. These things, these are the things that take the time, you know, trimming it and all that. So, no wonder I'm one minute, one and a half minutes into it. I think there's a couple of chatty ones i saw quite a big line big clip on the timeline there so 
just a case of sorting out the beginning and middle and just let it roll and who knows maybe i might come back to this later uh we're having a break now a good hour or so break i'm gonna have i've missed out on the chili con carne today so i'm going to have a couple of rounds of sandwiches uh, it's going to be mature cheddar and salmon spread and garlic sausage a nice mug of coffee and a cup of crisp yeah and I'll be happy as a sandboy and watch maybe I'll watch Ridley Scott or only fools and horses the one that I started watching and then fell asleep through sacrilege <laughs>